Where do I start with this one? Okay, I, I, actually, I, I know where I'll start with this one. Um, this is my second place of the year, and actually, it was actually my number one for the longest time. And it's not like this song grew off me by any stretch. It's just that Ukraine song grew on me so much more, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I think this is a really lovely song the production is really good i really like this kind of electro pop production and um and uh, like, even when it first got selected i kind of had a really good feeling about this that you know maybe this is going to do well and especially in like the last week or so i've been getting a really good feeling that this is probably the biggest dark horse of the year and it might actually win which you know if the cards you know fall into place i think that would be so awesome if this song won and um yeah of course we have to discuss the message as well i lo i like the message like like it's it's clear what the song is about but it's not so in your face it's very nice about it if that makes any sense and um and uh, of course it's pissing off the right people so <laughs> that's good for me and um <laughs> yeah um yeah I, yeah i really like this <laughs> um uh, john what do you think i agree wholeheartedly um, I've always had this kind of bubbling under my top five, but I think um, since the preview party season, I think this is climbing up into my top five now. Um, it it packs an emotional punch, and um, it does get it does get to me. Actually, um, I don't know if you saw. Um, in Eurovision and concert, of course, um, Emily, the lead singer, wasn't very well, so they drafted in our very own Suri, and um, they sa um, she sang the English version of the song, and it really got me quite emotional, actually. Um, I think I think that this is going to do really well, um, at least I hope so, unless the jury's tank it, which they tried to do in the national final. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, nuts, nuts to them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fing fingers crossed. They really deserve to do well this year. Yeah. Uh, Ricky, what do you think? Um, I do think that this is a really nice sounding in terms of the fact that I don't think the soundscape of the song is offensive. I think that any potential, like, you know, offending the right people happens based on the lyrical content of the song rather than, like, the fact of the oh, than the way it sounds. Um, mm. In terms of going way back to the national final performance, which I know was about three months ago now, so it probably has evolved. Um, the first two minutes were super effective in my point of view, but that last minute when, like, the face glow became up, that was a moment where I was like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's a good thing that it, we don't have LED screens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is just one of the things that we're not going to be seeing this year because of, of course, the LED screens. Um, and I do think that that was the potential moment where, you know, in France it became a really tight race because that potentially dulled the impact of the song enough to get it down to, I think it was third in the race in France by yeah. actually quite a big margin. Mm. Um, one of the things that I would really love to applaud um, Madame Monsieur on is the fact that they actually managed to chop down a four-minute song into a three-minute song without it feeling forced, which is 
extremely hard to do and in some cases it has ruined the song so mm. like congratulations to them for making mercy into a um into a good three minute version um just as a final note i really don't know its chances at eurovision um just because it is that same kind of radio hit that I thought um, No Debris of Separation was from Italy two years ago. Mm. And that didn't really do that well at the contest. Mm. But um, but he is hoping that we get to the 12th of May and France can blow the competition out of the water. Yeah, uh, on the, you you mentioned the final minute because I completely forgot to mention. Like, if anything could potentially win it for them, it's that moment where they will have everyone throwing their hands in unison. Like, I can just imagine it now. Like, they'll walk around that like sort of like outer catwalk thing, and they'll just be surrounded by hands like throwing at, at each other in unison and that's just gonna look so amazing on tv like like <laughs> like you know if if that if anything like if like like anything in that potential performance is going to be a moment that's going to be it in my opinion mm. that's that's mm. the hallelujah moment isn't it it was it was the same in amsterdam and um yeah it it it, it um it gives you goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So um, anything else before we do the first scores of the week? No. 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 Okay. Um. Oh, hang on. I was I was just gonna think. I'm gonna do this in French, but I completely gone blank now. Uh, je donne la France cinq points. <laughs> I give Fra France five points. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say, at least. <laughs> uh, très bien. Um, uh, cinq points aussi. <laughs> Yay! Um, quatre points. That's four points. Okay, and the public also give it four points. Mm -hmm. 